Hi YouTube, it's Tony with MY and Buzz. We have just finished watching Pet at Fright Fest 2016. We have Dominic Monaghan here who plays Seth. Hi Dominic, how are you? All good. good. How's Fright Fest been? Fright Fest has been good. Yeah. Uh, I got here yesterday. I okay. leave on Monday, so it's been a bit of a, a whistle stop tour. I'm a little jet lagged yeah. today. Yesterday I was fine because the first day you just kind yeah. of on the adrenaline thing, but today definitely catching up. Yeah. Lunch. Yeah. <laughs> but. That's all right. I mean, I'm around a whole bunch of movie nerds, and of which I count myself one. So it's uh, it's inspiring to be around those people. So oh, like. great! So we're here to talk about Pet. Mm. Um, I've seen it. I loved it. So cool. many twists and turns. Yeah. Your character Seth. What an what an emotional roller coaster he put me through, as yeah. well as obviously Kenzia as well, yeah. um, who plays Holly. The first thing that kind of struck me was with your character was the voice. Right. It was like, like you're talking to me now, and I've kind of like, you've still kind of got that kind of twang that Seth had. Right. But did you do any kind of voice preparation for the role? I think my voice moves around quite yeah. a lot, you know. Um, I'm from Manchester. Mm. So, you know, when I was 17, I used to talk like this all the time, just for yeah. <laughs> try and sound as much like Liam Gallagher as possible, you know. Yeah. But um, being an actor and moving to the United States and living there for the past 12 years, it's very important to be understood there. Yeah. They, they need to understand what you're saying, otherwise they dismiss you out of hand. So I found that my the slight mumbling ways that Mancunians have yeah. and the deep voice uh, didn't go across very well. So I found myself talking a little bit more like this. Oh, slowly, clearly. Yes, and enunciating everything. Oh, okay. And the thing about Seth that I found really interesting that we, that we hit upon quite early was that he's interested in the minutia, Seth. He's interested in the little things. You mm. know, that's why you have those shots of the blood with the cereal bowl. Yeah. And him looking very intently online and, you know, the, the stalking, the following, you know, he picks up on things very quickly. So because of that, I wanted him to talk with a lot of intention. Yeah, you know? okay. So that's why Seth kind of has this thing where he talks like, <laughs> you know, he kind of... Stops in between his senses. That really it? creeped me out. But yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Thank but you. There's a rhythm to that. Yeah. So it was a character choice, you know. Also, you know, you, obviously, I don't want to give too much away to the people that are watching this yeah. with the movie, but there is a sense that Seth feels that he's giving Ksenia's character, Holly, a lecture. You know, yeah. he's teaching her something. Yeah. And a lot of times when you're listening to a teacher, you know, they don't throw away their words. You know, he thinks that what he's saying is very important. So yeah. it's like, you need to listen to me, you know, yeah. that type of yeah. thing is, is a character. So yeah, man, it was fun. Uh, so the, what was your kind of first reaction after you read the script? Like you've read, you've sat there, you've <clears> read <throat> that script. What was your, what was your emotions? What were you feeling? At I read it a long time ago, probably 2003, yeah? something wow. like that, when, when it was first offered to me and, and we were supposed to do it back then and it didn't work out and then it kept coming backwards and forwards. Um, as is the case with any great script that you read, uh, you just want to be in it. You know, yeah. I just wanted to be in it. There's no other part in it that I could play apart from Seth. Seth. Yeah. And uh, Jeremy Slater, who wrote it, told me that he, he wrote the character based on my character in Lost, which at first I didn't believe, but then the more I became friendly with him, the more I realised it was true. And why, yeah. would, he, why would he make that up anyway? You know? Yeah. <laughs> so so um, I just wanted to do it. You know, I immediately called my agent and said, how do we do this? And... Uh, we tried to get it done in a few different ways, and it just didn't quite work out until last year. So yeah. I've been associated with this film for, what, eight, nine years now? Something wow, like that, and then it know? just comes to fruition to get it. Yeah, you don't read a lot of great scripts. And also, in the position that I'm in, excuse me, um, you know, a lot of times, if I've read a script, it means that 15 people have read it before me and said no. So you think, well, why would I do it? If all these yeah. people that I like, my peers, mm. who are in more exalted positions that I'm in, have said no. But the thing with Pet was because Jeremy had written it for me, he sent it straight to me, which meant that I got to read it first before everyone else. And when you're in that position, you're like, right, let's, let's, let's it, yeah. do it. That's you know, it, yeah, you're definitely. In, you're in pole position. So I was very um, very motivated to do it, very passionate about it. With so many twists and turns in, in, the, in the film, um, was any of the twists and turns held back from you? Like as you were filming, or did you know all the twists and turns that w that were coming to Seth? Yeah, no, I knew him because I'd read the script, obviously, and then we we had gone out and looked for Ksenia. Um, so I had I had gone backwards and forwards with the script and broke broken it down a lot. Yeah. Obviously, reading it for the first time, I didn't know. And we had three screenings yesterday, and I came in a couple of times in the screenings and kind of stood 
behind the barrier there and um, watch the audience, didn't watch the screen or watch the audience to see how they would react to some of those moments because that's when you know if you've got an audience or not is when when it, you know, reveals something like that. Mm. You you want that moment for people to be wow, whispering something to their friend. They're like, oh shit, I had no idea. And uh, it, it seems that we've achieved that. So, you know, that's that's really all credit to Jeremy Slater, the writer. Yeah. It's a fantastic script. So with Kenzia, um, you had a lot of intense scenes mm. with her. Mm. How, how was that with you both? Was it was it good? Did it go to plan every time? Or was it kind of one-take stuff? Or um, We didn't have a lot of time. We filmed it in about 25 days, which is very short for a feature wow. film. Yeah. Most feature yeah. films are at least a month, if not six weeks. Um, Ksenia is great. She's she's really cool. She's you know obviously very smart, very intelligent, beautiful lady. Um, she and I both bonded on on music and movies, which we're yeah. both kind of geeks about. And um, you know I kind of played it not completely like Seth, but a lot of times like I wanted to have her feel that if she needed anything, I would I would help her yeah. out with that. So when she's yeah. locked in in a cage at any point, I'd be like. Yeah. Can I get you a drink? Do you want yeah. some water? Do you want some food? Do you need anything? Get you a book. I'd, I'd bring her a slippers and a, a dressing gown and stuff like that. So I, I wanted to kind of dote on her a little bit. And also we hung out. Uh, I didn't hang out with anyone at the weekend while we yeah. filmed. Apart from Ksenia, I would say, if you want to hang out, let's do it. So she'd bring a dog over and we'd just hang out. And I kind of made her boss because in that situation with Seth and Holly, yeah. Holly's really boss all the time, even when she's in the cage. Exactly. He doesn't realize yeah. Yeah. who he's messing with. You mm. know? So I wanted to play around with the with the real life elements of that, and it's it's very easy to be enamoured with Ksenia because she's smart and beautiful. Was she really bossy then? Was she well Still when you gave that. when you gave her that kind of like you know a bit of rope to be a bit bossy? Did she take it up on that? Did no, she, not really. Or she's still just really nice. Yeah, like, no, she's very sweet. She didn't. She didn't. She wasn't demanding in, in any way, and I, I feel like she she was almost kind of a mirror for the way that I acted. I I, I like to. I like to do a very minimal amount of rehearsals and put most of it on camera. Yeah. So my take one is usually that I, ju- that I just know my lines, just, yeah. I'm still yeah. reaching for it. And then for me, I've always felt that the, the, the magic, the, the takes that I like the most is yeah. probably take two or take three and then I'm done. I don't want to do any more no, than that, you know. Move on. I've kind of done it. And Ksenia was the same. She was like, let's just smash it, you know, like take one, let's, Let's see if we can find it. Mm. And by the time we get to take two or three, let's 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 have it done. Because we didn't have a, a huge amount of time. So we came prepared. We were full on with each other. I mean, we kind of, you know, there was some violent scenes, some crazy scenes. Yeah. She's a tiny girl, Ksenia. She's only five foot, if that. Wow. And I just said, you know, let me know if I'm hurting you or, or if everything's okay. And she was like, ah, just do it. You know, we'll, I'll deal with the bruises later. So she's she tough. So how much did you explore your character itself <coughs> beforehand? So you obviously read the script. How much did you kind of do outside of, you know, you, you learned about your character and mm. explored him? Yeah, I looked after a few of my friend's dogs for yeah. weekends because obviously he's a, he's a he's dog, a dog fan. Hand, yeah. So I, I, I definitely explored that relationship. And then without wanting to get too creepy, um, I am kind of a, a serial killer expert. You know, I like ser- I don't like serial killers that came out. <laughs> I'm interested yeah, in the psychosis of a serial yeah. killer. So I have serial killers who's, um, who I'm interested in more than others. Okay. Probably Ted Bundy being my favorite. I like. I like Dharma. I like a guy called Chikatilo. There's a guy called Peter Curtin from. Who's Chikatilo? Obviously, the names just struck me, but. Yeah, Chikatilo obviously... was this guy from the Czech Republic who was okay. kind of a ghoul who would uh, kill people and crucify them and dig them up and eat them and stuff like that. Nice. Interesting chap. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting chap. So, I, Dennis Nielsen as well. I, I read a lot about that, Jeffrey Dharma, and, and just some of the. You know, the, all those guys in a lot of ways were loners. All those guys yeah. had uh, neglectful relationships with their parents. So I explored that, watched a lot of crazy movies. I, as I said, isolated myself apart from Ksenia. Yeah. So the only real human interaction I ever had was with Ksenia. And yeah. I think I think that helped. Absolutely amazing. Well, thank you very much, Dominic. It's been absolutely amazing talking to you. Cool. Um, when is the film out again? It's out in February. Uh, we've yet to come up with an actual date in February, but okay. I'm sure by, by January we'll, we'll start to do a little bit of press and you'll hear about it and then it, it'll be out in February. Thank you very much then, Dominic. Thank you for your time. Thanks, man. Cheers. Cheers. Guys, remember, you have to go and see this film. The film is Pet. It's out February 2017. It's absolutely amazing. The twists and turns will get you grasp in your seat. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember, guys, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and share also. That's me, Tony Perez, signing off from Fright Fest 2017. Thank you very much, guys. See you soon.